Say it again. Why should they switch using that person? So th that's something to think about. That's rough. That <laughs> yeah, that's I've had to, okay. okay. I've so. actually had to switch um, who's going to end my show. You always want to say the best for last. Mm -hmm. And one person, um, was Did that? the headliner, was my main feature. But it was a young, upcoming coming person in the crowd who drew a crowd. Mm -hmm. so I put her up last. Mm -hmm. So... As a promoter, you can work that out, okay? Um, maybe sometimes the person that's a headliner may not get upset with you, but if they know they only brought out five people, you know what I'm saying? And so, so you can arrange your show how you want to, mm -hmm. to make it fit what's best for the show. I like that response. Yeah. Um, but start thinking about that, you guys. <clears throat> Any two times you're headlining a show, <clears throat> it's a reason why they put you on that flyer, because of your fan base. But a lot of people don't feel that they need to promote themselves. So they won't share themselves. I know. I, I was just talking about Chicago. I was just talking about Chicago and the culture there. Uh -huh. And what it is we do in, in regards to unity and things like that. I was just talking about that. Okay. So... You have to promote yourself. If you're on a flyer or you're doing something or whatever the case may be, you know, it's up to you to keep yourself going because ultimately it's up to you to help keep yourself booked. Because if you're constantly not holding that weight or holding that fan base, then you're going to end up not being that headliner like that. So keep that in mind as you guys are building up your fan base. I should be able to hand this gentleman a flyer and he come out just because my name is on the flyer. If he don't come out because my name is on the flyer, then you got to figure out how you need to get yourself promoted in front of that individual so they know what it is that you bring out. You shouldn't have to beg anybody to come to a show. In the beginning stages, yeah, you're going to ask a lot of friends, family, people you come across and things like that. But your name holds weight when you can just throw a flyer out there and people are like, is that what's the name on it? Oh, I'm going to this show. That's how you know when your name holds weight. You can create a buzz just by bringing people with you. <laughs> and they can be different people. Just as long as you're bringing people with you. My first booking, I do believe that it came because I actually asked the people that came out. And they came out in large numbers. Mm -hmm. And from that point on, it was like, hey, let's book him. Mm -hmm. Of course, the promoter was like, hmm, he's going to bring a crowd. Mm -hmm. Well, that may not always be the case. Yeah. I just got lucky. Yeah. It, it, I, it learned, I learned something. You learned something from yeah. it, see? So, um, so I want us all to, because some people feel that they're bigger than what they are. We have a lot of that problem going on around here. Mm -hmm. And just in other areas, period. True, true. They think they're bigger than what they are, and they feel, I should get paid X, Y, and Z. Uh, and if somebody's going to pay you $200, and you only bring two people out to that show, why should somebody pay you X, Y, and Z? Your name is not pulling a crowd. It's a waste of money to pay somebody. I'm paying her $200. It costs $10 to get in, and only two people show up for her? But then this Joe Blow, I ain't paying him nothing, and he brings 30 people out? We ain't scratching you. You ain't going to be headlining nothing else. We gonna get So you got to watch that, and you always got to know each time you're going to a venue or you're going somewhere, whatever, you got to really learn how to get that fan base. And then the video I just did, the maintain, the audience that you have, constantly gain more. Yeah. Because if your your audience is constantly dropping off, you got to rebuild that audience back up constantly. You got to keep building that audience back up. Figure out why they're dropping out. Figure out why they don't want to follow you anymore. It could be a reason. Maybe you're not dedicated to your craft. Um, uh, they thought you really wanted to do this. One week you, uh, one week you doing this, the next week you doing something else. So you got to be dedicated to yourself, so people can want, ultimately want to be dedicated to you. So any uh, anything else? What makes a headliner a headliner? 